Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like it has been so long since I vlogged or posted a video like this in a while and if I'm being honest, I've had a really like difficult week personally, emotionally, I won't share maybe one day, but um, I just finished taking my first exam of graduate school and I did well, I'm so happy. You guys, I was like so prepared to not do well, even though I had studied and put so much time and energy and effort into like being prepared. And the test was definitely hard, but I did good by myself, by, by my standards, I did pretty good. So I am just so happy. And as you can see, it's uh, dark out. Um, it is Saturday, I think September, what is that, 26th. And I'm going to this Mexican restaurant with three of the girlfriends I made in my cohort. We're all celebrating kind of being done with our first exam. And then tomorrow we are going apple picking. So I thought I would do a little like quote weekend fun vlog, even though, it's the end of Saturday, but I just spent all day today studying, so I couldn't even think about like making a YouTube video. But yeah, I thought I will give a little life update, maybe on the way to the restaurant or maybe on the way home from apple picking, because I feel like there's a lot I want to talk about. But got my Kate Spade purse, and I'm off to, I believe the restaurant's called Soul Azteca. I'm wearing this cute little American Eagle tank top with a white bralette. I have these pearl earrings from my mom and then these white American Eagle jeans with um, these like nude, cute little heels. So yeah, I'm feeling so good. <laughs> I could cry. I decided to walk here in flip flops and I'm just gonna carry my high heels. Forget it. <laughs> On the tee. So. This night was a total fail because I didn't vlog at all. I went to Seoul Azteca with my girlfriends and um, realized that I didn't get any video of it. But now is a good time for a life update because tomorrow is Sunday. I'm gonna do homework in the morning and the evening and then in the afternoon, I'm going to go apple picking with the girls. We're going to Lookout Farms, which I believe is in Natick, Massachusetts. It's like 30 minutes away from where I live in Boston. So if you guys are interested, it looks like they have apple picking and like apple cider donuts and beer, many good things. So I'm looking forward to that. But um, yeah, I just kind of realized that I'm in, I think I just finished my fourth full week of school and it's definitely been hard. I want to make a whole video about the differences I've noticed between like graduate school and undergrad, but I took my first test today and it went really well. So I feel great about that. If anyone is interested in what I'm taking, I'm in cardiovascular pathophysiology, which is by far my hardest class. That was the exam that I took today. And then I'm also in exercise physiology. And those two classes are taught by the same professor who also happens to be my advisor. So love those two classes. And then as an elective, I'm taking a class on the meaning and importance of play in child development, which is really fascinating. I had to buy like Play-Doh for it the other day, which like sounds dumb, but it's actually like really fascinating and we're having like great conversation and good assignments. So I'm really happy that I ended up taking that as an elective. And then I'm also taking a class on like how to read and understand scientific literature. And then my last two classes are biostats and I think that's it. I have a lab for exercise physiology, which is the second thing I'm thinking of. But anyway, uh, adjusting to school has been difficult, but I'm proud of myself because I feel like I have finally found a system and maybe I'll feel different after my first exams for every class. I feel pretty settled at school and I've had, like I said, like an emotional, like difficult week just in some of my like personal relationships. I'm really happy that I'm making friends with these three girls from my cohort. They're really nice and hanging out with them. I always feel really good afterwards because we like get out of the space we live and get off campus and go do something fun, like get food or explore. And I don't know, I just feel really excited about this fall because we're gonna try to do the hike I did for my birthday. That's Mount Major in New Hampshire. We're probably gonna carve pumpkins together and maybe do like a Friendsgiving. So I just like feel really excited because I feel like I'm making that like social connection. Um, and yeah, I really like my outfit tonight. I already took my pants off, so won't show you the bottoms. And I look so frizzy. I hate the humidity here. <laughs> Again, whole nother video I could make about things I've learned from like living on the East Coast and kind of like adjusting to life here. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow morning for 
uh, apple picking. All right, it is Sunday, September 27th at about 10.30 in the morning. I'm about to leave my place, walk, go get my car, and then pick up the girls. Luckily, they all kind of live like in a similar area so I can pick them up like in a little loop. And then we're going to Natick, Massachusetts. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Since living here, I've learned that every single town, the way I think it's pronounced, it's actually not pronounced that way. <laughs> but we're going to look out farms, like I said, and to pick apples, get apple cider donuts, probably some hard cider. I I only had like a banana and peanut butter sandwich crackers for breakfast, so I'm a little hungry. And today's outfit is inspired by like Captain Hook or something, I don't know. I have my hoop earrings, this cute blue bandana, which is from Target, it was like 10 bucks. I really like these. Um, that same gem necklace I was wearing last night and then like a little white crop top with my uh, high-waisted button jeans and uh, some white sneakers, so let's get it. So I know it's not much, but even like these leaves changing, like going to yellow, just like so beautiful. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. It's like gray cloudy day, my favorite. And I just love that, like, see like those red leaves over there? I don't have my other hand, so I can't zoom in, but <laughs> I just like love the atmosphere. Like the fall here is gonna be so magical. Like you guys, look at this tree. All of its leaves are almost off. She looks amazing. Like this is right near where I park my car. Are you kidding? I'm sorry, but I just can't. It's so beautiful. We made it. E. <laughs> okay, so we made it into the orchard. We're all picking, we're in the Macintosh aisle. And we all signed up to get like half a peck of apples, which like could fill this whole bag. I think we're all gonna walk home with like 10 to 15 apples, but this place is so pretty. We're living for it. <laughs> taking pics. As millennials do. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> So pretty. On to the aging pear section. <laughs> I love the little ones. I don't know why. Oh, there's the pumpkin patch. So cute. So we're leaving the orchard itself. There's like a pumpkin patch over there and then a bunch of picnic tables over there where I think we're gonna get lunch. We're all kind of starving. And it definitely got hotter as the sun came out, but yeah, here are all my apples. I'll have to do an apple haul at the end. So <laughs> I am back at the place where I park my car and uh, we didn't end up getting to have lunch. I don't know if you guys could see in that last video, there was like a picnic table area and pro tip, if you guys go to Lookout Farms, you have to make a reservation to go apple picking and I imagine pumpkin picking, which is what we did, but we didn't make a reservation to like dine in and it was all outdoor seating. We were gonna try and like sneak by, but we decided to get um, apple cider donuts and some alcoholic cider from their like stand. I was saying to, uh, one of my friends Brittany she was like I'm so glad that like we all have each other it feels nice to have like a friend group and I'm like I couldn't agree more because I think if you guys watched like my Cape Cod vlog um, I definitely felt a bit of like loneliness when I first got to Boston because I didn't know my roommate super well and I hadn't met any of my classmates so I definitely feel a lot more solidified in like knowing people that I can talk to and text with over like school stuff and then also like go do fun things with so yeah, I just feel really happy. I think the rest of the day, honestly, is gonna just be schoolwork, but I'm gonna show you guys the yummy donuts and the cider. We'll have to see what the rating is. I made it back home, I'm sweaty as ever. I have my Lookout Farm. I believe this is their original hard cider. So we're gonna give it a try. I put it in the freezer while I was driving my car back. Um, and hopefully it's cold. It doesn't feel that cold. First sip. That's pretty good. <laughs> I remember Caitlin was reading this, that this Lookout Farm was established in Natick, or Natick, Massachusetts in 1651. I like can't process that that is how old that farm was, but 
yeah, this is really good. You couldn't get just like one can, so I had to get a four pack, but honestly, I'm not complaining because I don't drink that much. So I could honestly like have one of these every Friday and it'll last me a month. And then I also got some of their like donuts. I already had two because yeah, um, but they're, they're apple cider cinnamon donuts and they are really, really good. I'm not gonna have this one because I'm about to have this whole cider to myself, but um, yeah, highly recommend if you're in Massachusetts or near Natick Mass or even Boston, because like I said, like I live in Brighton, which is just like a suburb of Boston and um, it was like a 35 minute drive. So pretty crowded, but again, that's what the reservation is for. And I was saying to the girls, I was like, oh, I'd love to go back and go pumpkin picking, you know, cause I could see that they do that as well. And if we do that, I definitely want to make a reservation for the dining area so we could like have like food food. But this was honestly perfect because we all got back at like, uh, it's like 2.30 here and I can like shower cause I'm gross and then like relax and do homework for the rest of my Sunday. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little vlog. I don't really know how long it's gonna be given I didn't vlog at Sol Azteca last night, that Mexican restaurant that I went to, but you should subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna post pictures from us at the patch today. So definitely follow if you want to and I will see you in my next video. Bye.